Not only are the Warriors reigning NBA champions, an argument can be made that they have won the title of Petty Kings in a league that has been full of petty in recent years. The Warriors won their fourth title in eight years, and they immediately went at all the doubters. Welcome to the Free Dawkins channel. Here we break down every petty moment of the new NBA champs. I'm the Petty King, so I know all about everything. Steph Curry, the self-anointed Petty King himself, didn't just fill out the stat book during his 34-point finals MVP performance in the Warriors' win over the Boston Celtics in Game 6. He sprinkled jokes throughout the game, from pointing to his ring finger in the third quarter to signaling goodnight to the Celtics late in the fourth. Curry's attacks extended to all corners of the internet. He posted an Instagram photo with the caption Night Night of him with the Larry O'Brien and MVP trophies next to him. Clearly remember some experts and talking heads putting up the big zero of how many championships we would have going forward because of everything that we went through. So we hear all of that and you carry it all and try to maintain your purpose, not let it uh, distract you, but you carry that, that weight <laughs> to get here, it all comes out. He mimicked a zero hand signal over his eye directed at ESPN analyst Kendrick Perkins and Dominique Foxworth who made a similar gesture while claiming Curry wouldn't win another ring in the next four years. Curry even told after the game he had three Aisha Can't Cook shirts in his locker. A reference to when a Boston restaurant posted a sign that said Curry's wife wasn't a good chef before Game 4. Curry initially responded to that by wearing an Aisha Curry Can Cook shirt after scoring 43 points in the Warriors' Game 4 win to even the series. But after Game 6, he was promoting the original slogan to mock those that doubted his wife's cooking. I heard somebody talk about some checkbook wins and all this other stuff. Like, <laughs> yeah, because we're, you know, it starts with the core group of, of, of champions and, and bona fide winners and the belief that we could run it back. And now we're here. Finally, for Curry, he called out ESPN's Brian Windhorst for calling the Warriors Game 5 win a checkbook win because they could afford better depth than the Celtics. They have a $340 million payroll when you consider taxes. You don't just have to beat the Warriors on the court, you gotta beat their checkbook, and nothing away from Andrew Wiggins tonight, but this was a checkbook win for the Warriors. Windhorst later explained he meant the comment as a compliment, but Steph didn't seem to take it that way. Steph wasn't the only player to call out those that doubted his team. Clay Thompson mentioned one specific moment that fueled him throughout the postseason. Strength in numbers is alive and well. <laughs> I can't wait. There was this one player on the Grizzlies who tweeted strength in numbers after they beat us in the regular season, and it pissed me off so much. I can't wait to retweet that thing, freaking bum. That, I had to watch that. I'm just like, this freaking cloud. Okay. 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 Sorry. That memory just popped up. You're going to mock us? Like, you ain't ever been there before, bro. We've been there. We know what it takes. So to be here again, Hold that. Clay called out Memphis Grizzlies forward Jaron Jackson Jr. for tweeting the slogan strength in numbers, mocking the Warriors after the Grizzlies beat them in the regular season this year. These comments started a social media war between Grizzlies star Ja Morant and the god of pettiness himself. Draymond Green, Ja Morant responded to Clay comments by saying they have a lot of real estate in the Warriors' minds. Green did not hesitate to clap back, telling Morant they had traded the real estate because property value was higher in Boston. Morant then responded with a tweet that said he was spinning over the Green comment. Morant tried to defuse the situation by not taking the bait, but Green was not finished with the young Memphis star. When a fan tweeted that a Grizzlies-Warriors Christmas Day matchup in San Francisco was a guaranteed following the Twitter beef, Morant said the game should be in Memphis. Green quickly responded by saying that the champions play at home and Morant accepted the challenge. Green continued the trolling by posting a footage of Morant counting to four and saying he has Raven-like vision referencing the Dubs winning their fourth title in eight years. He finished the Twitter war by promoting his upcoming podcast, saying he still has a lot to say as he was in shock following the NBA Finals. The Dubs forward has been on quite a revenge tour since the winning of the title. It began with a hit at a tweet Boston forward Jalen Brown made back at the end of January. Brown posted the energy is about to shift after the Celtics beat the Miami Heat convincingly to snap a cold streak the team was on. Green, petty as ever, simply tweeted out the energy shifted. His next comment came in a tweet posted seven minutes later, where he quote tweeted an ESPN post mentioning his all-black outfit, which he said it was for a funeral. Later he returned to his approach of mocking old tweets. First it began with Kevin Durant. Green did this in an indirect way by repeating a tweet KD made after the Warriors game one loss in the NBA Finals, in which the Nets forward posted high level of basketball being displayed gentlemen. Green posted a similar version of that post, extremely high level of basketball was displayed. He then dunked on Barstool Sports founder Dave Portnoy, 
Hold that L, sucker, he responded after Portnoy had called Green a jerkface and the P-word. Green's antics continued offline as well, as he was seen sporting a personally edited version of the Celtics rally shirts with the dumb slogan It's All About 18. The original shirt features a blank rectangle to symbolize where Boston's 18th championship banner would go. Green's was filled in with warriors, an arrow pointing to the empty box and the message nope, maybe in 23. Finally, Draymond went full petty at Golden State Warriors Championship Parade. Once Green sat down to address the Warriors' loyal fans, he decided to take that petty to the next level. I don't know what y'all want me to tell you, that we better than everybody? <laughs> I told y'all don't let us win a fucking championship, and clearly nobody could stop it. Um, I warned y'all, so I'm just going to continue to destroy people on Twitter, as I have been. I just want to say thank you all. And as always, fuck everybody else. I love y'all. That's what we do. We win. Winners win. They'll never understand it. They'll try to quantify it. They'll try to make it about points. Winners win. That's what we do. Straight like that. I said it all. Shut up. That's what I said. I said it. Shut up. We don't want to hear it no more. Shut up. Straight like that. This is live TV, right? Yes, sir. Fuck them. <laughs> Fresh off yet another title, Draymond Green and his Warriors are back at the top of the association. They are also now public enemy number one after a two-year hiatus. Somehow, we imagine Green wouldn't want it any other way. Tell us in the comments, what is your favorite Warriors revenge moment since they won the championship? And if you like this video, share, subscribe and hit the like button. For more basketball content, subscribe to our other channels, Vintage Dawkins and Squad Dawkins and follow us on social media.